Governor Chris Broussard. We're talking James Harden. Yesterday, Harden says that he not only knows he needs to bring a championship to Houston, but he promised he'd do it, quote, very, very soon. Broussard, what'd you make of uh, Harden's comments? I definitely don't see the very, very soon part. Uh, and, and if I had to bet, I would bet that James Harden goes down like Charles Barkley, Patrick Ewing, Oof. Steve Nash, Carmelo, all the all-time greats Oof. who didn't win a ring. And now, look, the last two years were his best shots at winning it. And I said about that team, I thought they'd go down like the Phoenix Suns of Dan Tony, the Sacramento Kings of Chris mm. Webber and so on. Great teams, championship caliber, but never got over the hump and got it done. Could it be your best shot when the Warriors were the Warriors? I mean, yeah, because they one they had the Warriors beat, okay. right? Two years ago, sure. And last year it was there for the taking. They just didn't, you know. Once Durant went down, now I look at the Clippers, and I gotta be. I look at this and say, how are they gonna beat Kawhi and Paul George with a nice cast of role players, a great coach? I just don't see that. And the Lakers for at least the next two years should be better than Houston. So, I think their best chance would be. As much as I like D'Antoni, you know, I think he's a Hall of Fame coach. I don't think he can, with this group, I don't think he's the right coach. He's talking about, not with Westbrook. You know, if he's talking about essential, essentially running the same thing, I just don't see it. So I think it would be take a new coach. And I don't know who that coach is. Right. But a coach that can find the right system mm -hmm. to maximize Harden and Westbrook together. I don't think Dan Tony's that This guy. group of players, just a different coach, but this group can get there? I think with a coach that, again, can put in the right system, yeah, I think they'd have a better shot. But I still think, I mean, with what the Lakers and the Clippers have, I think they're just better than the Rockets. I, I think that if we don't talk about how deep the West is, I think we're doing a disservice to how good the West is right now. So to me, with Harden, I like where Harden is. I like the way he's grown his game. I like what he's doing on and off the court. I want to see if he can defer to others because that type of usage, you can't continue right. that. In the last three years, Nick talked about 32, 7, and 9 and has what to show for it? One MVP? That's it. It's, it's about team goals now for him. Are they good enough? Is the coaching staff good enough to win not one series, Four series. And what it would, when you say talk about how deep the West is, see, that would mean, again, first round Utah. Yeah, let's just go so, through a hypothetical yeah. bracket. Right. First round Utah. Second round Clippers. Third round Lakers. Championship round Bucks. Okay, here's right. a totally different one. Right. First round Nuggets. Second round Warriors. Third round Clippers. Championship round Sixers. Like, it, it, there ain't no easy outs at this point. Right. right. So for me, I believe in Harden. I believe that his leadership will only get better now because Chris Paul is not there. But tell me the system for which they're going to play. I heard the press comments. I heard the clippings and everything. And it, you cannot play this same way because it's proven. Harden has been worn out in the playoffs the last couple of years. Russ, if he tries to play his normal 80, 82 games, he's going to be worn out third, fourth round in the playoffs. So for me, what are they going to do different? I don't think uh, the coach is going to do anything different. He's shown not to do anything different. And I think you make a great point. That's not a list you want to be on. Because when they talk about all the people in sports, I see my name on that list. They normally get Charles first, then they venture <laughs> over and make the list nice they and juicy and then point. throw me off on there. But I'm on there. It's true. <laughs> yeah. When you don't win, it, 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 that's all a part of it. And I don't see Harden with the West winning a championship in Houston. Well, so I understand why he's saying this. I, I Because you mentioned under Dan Tony that you think Dan Tony's not the right coach for this team if they want to get over the hump. Since Dan Tony's been there, what James Harden's done these last three years, you're a student in NBA history, you're a student in NBA, it's... it's it is almost incomparable. I know Bird won three straight MVPs. LeBron won two and three years a couple different times. Like, we've, we've had a bunch of guys win more MVPs in a three-year stretch because guys win them back-to-back. -back. But Harden, since D'Antoni's been there, you said it, see, 32 points a game, seven rebounds a game, nine assists per game, two scoring titles, one assist title, three first-team All-NBAs, an MVP 
two second place finishes right. in the MVP. He and is, he's 30. Yes. He's 30. He's, we think of him as a uh, widely veteran. He's only 30 well, he years old. Come in young. He came in young, and as soon as he got to Houston, was a superstar. Was an MVP candidate the moment he got there. But since he's been to Houston, ain't been to the finals. Got to one in OKC, what feels like ages ago. This is the only thing left. Because let's just say we're wrong. Or you, you, that. I, I hope he wins. I'm a huge hard fan. If he, I hope wins he wins one, one, then you start. Let's just say they had won two years ago when they were up 3 2, okay. when Chris Paul got hurt. Harden gets to say, hey, everybody, by the way, I'm the one that replaced LeBron. It's a different, yeah. I'm the best player in the world. I just won MVP, won 65 games, mm -hmm. beat the unbeatable Warriors. And if he would have been coming off the title, Follow that up with averaging 36 a game. Even if they lost last year, nobody would. I mean, he would be a made man. It's the only thing left for him. Here's the thing. One man shows rarely, if ever, win in the NBA. Yep. Will Chamberlain, I mean, that was the greatest one man show ever. When he was averaging 50 and 45 and 36, he didn't win his championships. He won his two championships averaging 24 points a game and 14 points a game. That's crazy. Michael Jordan's first three Highest scoring seasons. Yep. Never won a championship. No, no, no success. And so Harden, and that's the, look, Harden's versatile enough to play differently. We saw it in Oklahoma. We not go, don't want him to go back to that. Mm -hmm. But he's got skills. He can do it all. He yes. averaged 11 assists per game. Right. One he year. can do it all. But now he's gotten a taste. I mean, you know, that is, uh, that's tough to get rid of when you've gotten that taste. He's being mentioned in the same breath as Wilt and Michael Jordan, mm -hmm. and best offensive player ever, perhaps. That's hard to get that out of your system once you start tasting it. Yeah, that. I remember Randy Moss, man, our first year, we went 16, 17, 17 and one. Yep. 17 and two, because we lost one in the regular season, then we lost to Atlanta NFC Championship. And we're in the locker room, man, I was devastated. 16 and, and two. We, I, I was totally devastated, 16 and two. Moss was just telling people, oh, man, ain't no problem. We're going to be back, man. We're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna, next year, we're going to retool. We're going to be back. Because he didn't know any better. He didn't know. Two years later, we're back in the NFC Championship. We get 41 bageled in Giant <laughs> Stadium. Zip. Right. Moss was still third. Year. Man, we're going to be back, man. We're going to be back. I was interviewing with Pam Oliver after the game. I was ready to quit. I was ready to retire. Because when you're younger, you don't realize those opportunities might, be pre not, might not come again. That game number five against Golden State two years ago, that game number six, Last year, what happened to him? Man, those kind of opportunities just don't fall into your lap. Right. So I got a lot of respect for Harden for his game. There are a lot of great players that are not going to win a championship for a variety of different we reasons. But what I don't like is Steve Nash was under this same thing. Oh, he's a system player. No, Steve Nash made that system. And I believe that James Harden was going to be a superstar no matter which team when he left OKC. Agreed. He was ready. He's a unique guy. He has gotten into the gym. It is not the system there that has made Harden the, oh, the, right the unbelievable basketball player. And I think that people, sometimes, he gets that he, later. He, got a, he had a second-place MVP finish two years before Dan Tony got there. He was right, right. The, he was Steph's great first Dan MVP Tony. year, 2015. I voted for him that year. I yeah, thought he should have won. He almost won. And the MVP. unfortunate thing for the Rockets is that Daryl Morey built this team to beat the Warriors. And now that the Warriors right. are seemingly less than they were, the rest of the West has built themselves up, which they haven't really done in the last couple of years. So you're right. The last two years were the opportunity for them to take them down. Um, Chris, thank you so much. Much Thank appreciated. You. I enjoyed it. Have a great weekend. All Take a break. Coming up, how much trouble are the Dallas Cowboys in if they don't get Zeke locked up? That is next on First Things First. Good stuff, Chris.